Good evening everyone. Uh, I'm Fiona from Fifi's Fabricology and I'd like to welcome you to the Glorious Colour Lecture here at the Corumban RSL on the Gold Coast in Queensland. It's lovely for me to welcome Kate Fassett and Brandon Madley, uh, the star attraction for our lecture this evening. Um, I'd like to welcome them both and thank them both for coming to the Gold Coast to uh, give us their insight into colour, uh, which we all love. So I'll hand over. Thank you. And thank you for wearing colour too. <laughs> Good evening, Kate and Brandon, and thank you for taking the time out to speak with us. I know it's already been quite a long day. So I've just got a few questions to ask from both ourselves and your Facebook fans. You were in Australia a few years ago, and you missed the Gold Coast. What made you come to the Gold Coast this time? This incredible shop. Could you, you know, tell me yeah. More? Well, um, we heard that, that a shop was forming and was very enthusiastic about our fabrics. And it got more so, and in the in the last two years, and um, it is just so well equipped. Uh, Fifi's Fabricology, yeah, is that what it's called. Uh, absolutely wonderful range of many, many, many different artists, uh, and and you know some uh, companies that we really love and and are enthusiastic about. So it's nice to be able to do a workshop based on all of the things that are in that shop. But one of the things that um, Fifi has done, they've moved from just having an online presence to having a physical presence, which you need to have, because you need to have human contact with your customers and build your relationships that way. Um, Fifi has been going for quite a while, but they were online now. They've been, I think, five years. They've been forming their roots. Um, and uh, quite honestly, she has the largest collection of really well-stocked fabric here in Australia than anybody else, yeah. On that, what was the feeling walking into her store and seeing an entire wall of the Cape Facet Collective? It's the way it should be. Yeah, <laughs> I know. well, it was wonderful. But it's also, you know, she had a lot of uh, another artist that we love, Martha Negley, who just, you know, a lot of her things from the past were there. And so that was, I don't know, it was just wonderful. I, I mean, as much as I enjoy seeing my fabrics, I kind of know those, but what I loved was all the things she had around it. Mm -hmm. You know, the other uh, exciting kind of geometric prints and so forth that will mix very well with ours. And so we can't wait to do the workshop tomorrow to see how all that comes together. I mean, what makes her shop um, as unique or stand as it does um, is that there's vast possibilities and when the end, she, they, hopefully the store will grow from strength to strength. There are suggestions that we pass along in, in what we think, because she's got so much stock, um, to have a bigger space. But that's time to come, um, you know. So the, the, the first thing that we, felt, we saw there was the possibilities that customers must have when they go there. And, you know, uh, I feel sorry for any of the customers going there because you could empty your bank account just <laughs> very easily. Very easy. Yeah. Well, that's all from my questions, but I do have a few from Facebook. Uh, the first one is from Deb, and this one's from UK. She wants to know how has your perception and the use of colour been influenced over the years? I don't know. I mean, I I, I, I think things come in in waves, and I I love going back to the old Victorian prints and Civil War prints and things like that and those very traditional old things and mixing them with our kind of more painterly, bright colored things. I think that could be a very interesting kind of edgy mix nowadays. So, we, we also love other fabrics being used with us too because yeah. it gives it um, more spice. Yeah. Uh, the next question is actually from a young man called Ryan and he asks, how do you know when it's time to stop introducing <laughs> colours. Is there a point where you say, step away from the fabric, Ryan? <laughs> or do you just overload? Yeah. Uh, well, I overload and then I try to create a harmony by eliminating the things that are distracting or dampening some of the colour. So in order to heighten the colour that I'm really enjoying in a quilt, I'll take away the things that are distracting. 
So it is a it is a process of creating harmony by taking away things that are too complex and and muddying the water. Yeah, you need to go far enough, then yeah. start eliminating. Yeah, and then start editing. Yeah, and more is never enough. <laughs> are you listening, Ryan? <laughs> Make sure we shout this one out. Kiefer's yeah. a, <laughs> a motto, if in doubt, add 20 more colors. Yes. That's a starting block. That's a starting yeah, that's block. That's my starting point. Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, and the last one from Facebook is, what are the sources of your inspiration? Are they things that you look for and or plan, or are they something light bulb kind of moments? If it doesn't move fast enough, then it's used. And it all goes into the mix. It's never black and white, this and that. Yeah, everything, everything should be grist to your mill. And, uh, you know, the damnedest thing, you know, can give you inspiration. Uh, these, these questions are phrased in a way that I'm not exactly sure what they're driving at. But, you know, inspiration is everywhere. You know, the band on someone's hat or... It's quite, know, it's quite uh, often a relationship. It's like, for instance, yeah. it would be, say, your dress, which is relationship of black and white pattern yeah, yeah. and the relationship of that relating to the carpet or what the pattern of fabric that's behind you in the chair and so it's play on pattern and color and how they speak and vibrate um, and you know and how that can trigger a yeah. scale and pattern and consistency and it's it's not a direct it's not a, there's no direct real answer for that I'm afraid Bill. come to a class and we'll see if we can help you out <laughs> yeah